Hello, is this the right location for the NCRE Business Conference? It sure is. I'm John Timmerman. Hey, John, I'm Rob. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Rob. Hey, again, Paula. Hi, John. How are you? I'm doing great, thanks. John, remember I told you earlier we are getting lousy performance from our OLTP database. Therefore, I trust that we plan to cover something today that will show us how we can get faster turnaround on queries. And we're also having more and more data available to us from many sources. So we'll need to be able to scale and merge all of the data into one view. Paula, I think that you'll find today's topic exactly fits that bill. I certainly hope so, because in today's economy, I have no time to waste, and it takes everything for me to stay one step ahead of my competitor. Well, we're going to cover that today. Looks like we're about to get started. Let's go on in. Hello, I'm Marty Sire, Vice President of NCR's eBusiness Division. Thank you, everyone, for coming to today's session as part of the eBusiness Executive Series. We're so lucky and thrilled that we were able to schedule our host for today. This gentleman is a renowned business consultant who spent the last 10 years personally helping customers in over 40 countries drive successful business intelligence that works. He has a vast knowledge of system, database, and commerce technologies and the many ways that leading firms are integrating these into single uh, organizational knowledge and a data store to create an, a sustainable competitive advantage. It is indeed our privilege to have him with us today here to discuss business intelligence that works. Please join me in welcoming Mr. John Timmerman. Hello everyone. John. Thank you Marty for the glowing introduction. Welcome to the eBusiness Executive Series. I'm happy to be here today to discuss business intelligence that works. In today's session, we're going to use real customer experiences and data to really prove the value of utilizing business warehouses to drive sustainable decision support value. Let's start by reviewing the primary competitors in this business intelligence market space. You know, on the one hand, you have the historical OLTP vendors who are trying to leverage an existing business relationship and trying to expand that into the e-business warehouse space. That's somewhat akin to trying to convince a farmer that he needs to plow his field with a bunch of chickens rather than getting a tractor just because he's already spent so much money on the chickens. You're using the wrong tool for the job. What good is spending all this money on one particular tool and trying to use it for something it wasn't designed to do if you don't get a return, if it's an ineffective tool? And basically what we have right now in the marketplace is a lot of different companies who are trying to plow their field with chickens. They're worried about the 15 millions they've already spent on an existing database site license and saying, how can I leverage this into an e-business warehouse? Well, the answer is effectively, you can't. So on one side, you've got a traditional OLTP vendor that's got an existing relationship he's trying to leverage just so he can stay in your back pocket, but not providing a solution that actually works. And then on the other side, you've got the NCR e-business Teradata Active Warehouse. Solutions that were basically designed from the ground up for e-business decision support. Solutions that were basically wrapped around and support a proven track record with the ability to consistently deliver business insight. In today's session, we're going to explore the potential revenue of utilizing business intelligence work that works versus the cost of using a solution that doesn't. Looking at the NCR, eBusiness Teradata Active Warehouse solution, you can see that the NCR solution is built around Teradata. On top of the world's most powerful database, they wrap an eBusiness logical data model, which basically provides the blueprint then to map web-centric information back into the operational side of your business to create the data relationships between all this e stuff and everything else that's required to run your business. In addition to the most powerful database architecture, and the functionality that's provided by this logical data model, they also have an extremely flexible reporting tool. It's got canned prepackaged reports that are highly customizable, but they're relative to specific areas of the business and drive specific areas of business insight. It also has an extremely flexible and easy to use ad hoc query facility. So you can ask the questions that you haven't discovered yet. Yes, Chris, you have a question. John, I hear a lot of discussions like this, and you know NCR is not the only vendor out there with a database, LDM, and a bunch of reports. So what makes NCR the better vendor? You know, Chris, that's an excellent question, and 
When I travel around and I talk to NCR customers, I hear a lot of different things that are tossed out as far as the benefits of using that type of solution. They talk about faster data loads, and they talk about faster query results, and they talk about the ability to have huge and huge reams of data and lots and lots of users that are supported. When I think about those, that kind of boils down into what I think is the first primary reason that these NCR solutions are superior, and that's performance and scalability. They basically have more horsepower than anybody else does. So if performance and scalability were the, the primary tenet, the first one, the second one I would say is a same-day sense of information. Being able to operationalize your business intelligence into a day where you can actually use it to affect some sales. You can use it to drive an impact to your bottom line. So if we've got performance and scalability is the first one. A same-day sense of information is the second one. The third one is basically the time to solution. With a proven track record and proven methodology, NCR can get these solutions in place many times faster than you could design them on your own. And they can do it consistently and again with a proven track record with a, a myriad of customers that you can use as references. Let's take a closer look at each of these starting with performance and scalability. NCR can actually get data into the data warehouse faster, can reconfigure faster, and can return complex queries featuring multiple table joins and full table scans across hundreds and hundreds of millions of rows of data and can install and implement faster. Can anyone tell me why this might be important? Mr. Mallory. Because it's going to be on the test. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mr. Mallory, if we were going to have a test, that would be one reason why, but there's no test. What I really wanted was the business impact that this performance and scalability lends versus tools that are ineffective. So, if the NCR solution doesn't have a data size limitation, you can consolidate multiple data warehouses or data marts into one single version of the truth or one single image of your entire business and all of your customers, all the vertical areas of the business. The horsepower basically behind NCR's e-business solution is again the Teradata database. Proven the world over as the most powerful and scalable when combined with a robust logical data model, this solution allows businesses to consolidate multiple data stores into a single enterprise data warehouse. One of NCR customers recently consolidated three different databases into one single image. A lot of people say three, that's pretty impressive. I wish I could just consolidate two. But three is just a drop in the bucket for the NCR scalable solutions. They had another customer that consolidated 11 different sources and yet another is in the process of driving 17 independent data marts into one single view of their business. So in addition to gaining greater customer and business insight, by having a single view of the customer, what other benefit comes from this database consolidation? Anybody? Yes, ma'am. Lisa. It would mean fewer systems and less data management. Could you explain that a little bit more? Well, from an IT perspective, one central data warehouse would allow you to have fewer physical systems to manage. Um, with many systems, I would have to actually keep track of um, having that data synchronized. But with the parallel processing power of a Teradata system, then I could consolidate all of the data stores into one and thus avoid all of the problems associated with having to keep track of all of that stuff. That's a fantastic answer. So the power to consolidate multiple data marks into a single database image would give you greater business insight while at the same time providing a lower total cost of ownership and accelerated return on investment. Mr. Zoba, with your current system, can you store and analyze as much marketing data as you want to and need to? Well, not exactly. We're currently using a, the top-of-the-line OLTP database, and it lets us store as much data as we really want to, but we really don't have the horsepower to return the queries in a timely fashion. In fact, the only way that we've been able to get a little bit better performance is by limiting some things, such as the amount of users that can get online. Uh, number two would be limit the number of reports. And ultimately, what we have to end up doing is summarize, summarize, and even summarize some more that data. The problem is then we're in that catch-22 with we get a little bit better performance, but we have our users complaining. Some users can't get online because we've limited the amount of users that can get online. And then the ones that do get online, they start complaining because they don't have the real accurate and useful business insight because they're dealing with summarized data. You know, I've got to tell you, I've almost reached the conclusion that we've outgrown our existing system. We just don't have the options and the competitiveness that we need, and this top-of-the-line OLTP database is really limiting us.
Yeah. You know, Rob, that ability that you talk about is much more a feature of the NCR solution rather than the bottom line benefit. You talk of the ability to put basically as many users as you can on the system, to run as many complex queries as you need to without having this trade-off, without having to summarize data. If you could store and effectively analyze all the data that you wanted, what do you think would be the impact on your business as far as an insight rather than an operational side? Well, if I could store and analyze as much data as I knew that I needed, then I could truly analyze not only the current state of my business, but also dramatically improve the future operations. Additionally, if I didn't have to summarize or purge any data that's older than 90 days, then I could really keep some historical data on not only the customer, but also product life cycles. And that's going to help me better serve my valued customers and help me be a lot more competitive. Good. Yes, sir. I'm an e-retailer. What do I need to store historical data? And show me the value that historical data provides to me. Okay. Well, I may be a pretty good example for that. I don't shop much. And normally it's only around Christmas, so I'm extremely seasonal in my shopping behavior. If a website were trying to understand my particular behavior, they would probably need to go back to last Christmas to capture any meaningful business insight into my particular behavior. And it would have to be not only historical data, but the detailed data to get down to me as an individual. Otherwise, the insight's a whole lot less clear because you're using some sort of summary data, which doesn't give you a very good picture of what I was actually doing. So it has to be detailed historical data, not just historical data. Now, if that same company were trying to analyze ad effectiveness or determine which referral sites were sending them the most real business or sending them the best leads, they would want to make sure that they had a clear picture of the same types of activity over time. Not just the last three months, but historically further out. So again, it's not just a matter of keeping historical data. If you summarize and then archive, you've lost the detailed data forever. So you can't really store your summary information. Uh, my granddaddy used to say that, you know, if you've got a pig, it's pretty easy to make sausages. But if all you have is sausages, it's impossible to build a pig. And while that may be some clever little southern saying, basically what it means is as long as you have the detailed components of the whole pig or the whole database, you can slice it and dice it and mix it and match it to come up with a dozen different types of sausages. But if all you have is the sausages, if all you have is that summary table, there's no way to ever go back and recreate the pig or the detailed components of the entire database. With so many variables at play in both scenarios, either looking at my shopping behavior or trying to analyze ad or referral effectiveness, you must be able to mine the detailed data or your business intelligence simply won't work. Without Teradata, the only approach to improving performance, as Mr. Zoba stated, was summarization. Unfortunately, this summarization limits the insight that's returned from additional ad hoc queries. So another value of this performance and scalability strength of Teradata over an OLTP system is a better understanding of seasonal behavior as well as greater insight and referral into ad effectiveness? A Absolutely. Uh, yes, ma'am. You mentioned referral quality and effectiveness. These are extremely important in my world of online advertising. How does this detailed data over time equation work for me? It's a wonderful question, Paula. If you just look at a weekly summary of ad performance for a particular referral, would you be able to tell if the site performed really well on weekend? No. Okay, so all you would get is some sort of summarization. So you couldn't tell then that the particular referral site were performing extremely well on a weekend versus a weekday. So you could be placing your ads on the wrong site at the wrong time, even though the summary report says the ad's effective, right? Yes, I guess I could. Okay. Well, let's just take a few minutes to refresh our coffee, and then we'll look at some sample customer metrics from an e-business company that's made the transition from dysfunctional business intelligence that doesn't work to BI that does work. And I believe we'll have more of an answer to your problem, Paula. John mentioned earlier about detailed historical data. This could be important to me. I'm in the process of renegotiating ad contracts with several sites. I could be paying premiums at a time when performance is minimal. This doesn't make sense. I need to look at this further when I get back to the office. Let's get going again. You'll recall that the performance and scalability of the NCR solution provides the accuracy of detailed data almost across almost any element of time. Growing the system requires hours and not days like the competitive solutions do, and scalability is linear. 
So the NCR solution provides for consistent response times to the business users with any number of users logged on with just about any amount of data being accessed. Furthermore, the parallel processing power provides answers to questions that are impossible, absolutely impossible for other vendors to answer. So moving on, let's look at some sample metric information from one of NCR's e-business customers. We've discussed the elements of performance and scale, but now let's discuss the element of time. Let's look at the time difference between a number of the different queries and loads that we have over here. You'll notice that comparing the other analytical provider systems to the NCR e-business Teradata Active Warehouse solution, the original data load time, the nightly data load time, was eight hours compared to two hours. If we start rolling through the different queries that these individual customers or, or business users were asking, the first question they said was on our website, what are the top 50 products being accessed by both browsers and buyers? So across everybody, all the activity. And we see that one particular report ran nine minutes on one side and 30 seconds on the other. As we roll down or roll down, they say, okay, what are the top 50 products for browsers only? And we see a metric of there, 40 minutes versus three minutes. And we can look at the next one, which is what were the top 50 products for buyers only? And we've got an hour versus six minutes and 30 seconds. Then another question that they ask, what are the top domains that are sending me these browsers? Where do I get all of these people who are surfing my site from? Just running that particular query took 13 hours on the other operational system from the traditional OLTP vendor and on the NCR solution took 13 minutes. Now, there were a number of impossible queries. I mentioned that NCR was able to provide answers to queries that were impossible from other vendors. This particular company had two specific queries that they would launch and they'd run for 24 hours and when they hadn't gotten a result back, they'd just abort the query. A lot of people say, well, there maybe wasn't real insightful stuff that they were digging for. Actually, those queries may have been some of the most important. One of them was asking, what is the top page where my browsers actually abort the site. So at what point on my site are the people who aren't buying from me, at what point on the site do they exit? Now, that's good information to know. I would think one solution couldn't provide the answer. That's business intelligence that doesn't work. And on the other side, you have business intelligence that does work. An hour and 10 minutes later, you can determine what is the top abort page. The last query that was impossible that they were trying to run on the traditional system was trying to detect competitive activity on their site. They had a number of competitors who were actually logging onto their site and looking for the intellectual property that was on their site and they were exposing it to other customers. So how can I detect competitive activity on my site and how can I block them from being able to get there? So let's look at then the time difference in data load and query runtime. Mr. Malrick, what's the business value of being able to run these reports faster? Well, to be honest with you, Mr. Timman, I don't believe and I'm not convinced that there's real much business value here at all, period. After all, we're only talking about a few minutes here and there, maybe an hour. You know, just an hour here or an hour there might be true. However, cumulatively, we're no longer talking about one hour or two. When you start to add them all together, we start talking about a huge amount of time. And let's explore the opportunity cost, the value of that time. Mr. Malrick, I'd like for you to pretend that you have to generate business intelligence from the traditional solutions, from a traditional or historical OLTP vendor. And Mr. Yosef, why don't you pretend that you have business intelligence that works? Now, as we move through, since most batch jobs are typically run at night, let's assume that we both start this exercise at, say, midnight. So at midnight, Mr. Malarek, your company is going to start running your evening data load. And at the exact same time, midnight, Mr. Yosef, your company is going to start to do the exact same data load. Mr. Malarek, since your solution was incapable of answering the impossible queries, we're not going to hold you responsible for those. Um, what time did you complete your data load and say the first four sample queries? That would be about 11 o'clock at night. 11 o'clock at night, the day after you actually captured the information. And Mr. Yosef, what time did you finish your data load in your first four queries? In about uh, two hours and 23 minutes. So you're up to about 2.30 in the morning. Mr. Malarek, at 2.30 in the morning, what was your business doing? <laughs> I was less than halfway through loading yesterday's data into my warehouse. So Mr. Yosef's business gets the answers to the same questions about 20 hours sooner. Now I mentioned these two impossible queries that were out there. Um, for this particular customer, there were queries that couldn't run on the other analytical providers. And basically what it boiled down to was they never returned. So the system would just thrash around for 24 hours and they'd kill the query. 
required a lot of full table scans, multiple joins. Basically, they couldn't determine who's leaving my site. They couldn't determine which competitors are poaching on my site. Mr. Yosef, how long did it take the NCR solution to return those two impossible queries for you? About an hour and 10 minutes plus additional 21 minutes. So about what time are we today? 4 a.m. About 4 o'clock in the morning. Yep. Mr. Mallard, what was your business doing at 4 a.m.? Apparently we're out plowing the fields with some sleepy-eyed chickens because <laughs> we were only halfway through with our data load. You know, I'm beginning to see the real time value associated with the NCR total solution. You know, as a matter of fact, even if we could have ran and got information back from those impossible queries, it had taken at least 24 hours for each query. That means I wouldn't have had my information or my answers back from my questions until three days after I requested the data. On the other hand, Mr. Youssef's business, he had insightful information from yesterday's business in time enough to make an impact on today's sales. By the time I would have had useful information back, people would have been in and out, bought a pack of Rolos and tissue paper, and boom, they'd have been gone. I need information now, with or without impossible queries. <laughs> and, and after they've skedaddled and you realize you've lost that opportunity, do you see that there's additional value in those impossible queries? You've got to be kidding me. This information is very, very valuable. It would have showed me where these non-buyers are on my website when they aborted. And maybe from there I could figure out how to turn these non-buyers into buyers. Furthermore, for, from a competitive value, we're able to prevent customers or competitors from poaching my website. This is huge. I can't go through this every day. I'm tired of plowing my single rows of fields with my chickens. I need multiple rolls all at once. I need a big tractor. I need it now. Excellent insight, sir. You're starting to get it. You've realized that there's an opportunity cost that's associated with the time required for analytics. If Mr. Yosef was done with the same reports 20 hours sooner, how many more reports, how much more business insight can he drive in the amount of time that it's taking you to catch up? How many more targeted campaigns can his company extend to their valuable customers to drive bottom line impact while you're still trying to load the data, you're still trying to get your first run of analytics back? What type of changes can he make to the website to improve sales and service based on what he learned last night? One of NCR's customers recently said that the better customer intelligence that they get, or if they can get sound, reliable business intelligence, it would add an additional 10% to their bottom line. 10% just by understanding your customers and business better. You see, the performance and scalability of NCR's eBusiness Teradata Active Warehouse solution lends a significant competitive advantage. And it's not only in the size of the warehouse, but also in the relevance of the decisions based on this detailed data and the element of time, both analysis time and the time savings. Sir, furthermore, the points that Mr. Mallard was making lead us directly to another key value of the NCRE business solution, and that's a same-day sense of information. Does anyone know what I mean by having a same-day sense of information? I would say it's the ability to act on the analytics within a 24-hour window. I mean, in the example just given, Mr. Mallory was doing analytics all day Tuesday on information that he captured on Monday, and there's absolutely no way he could implement that on Monday. It would have been at least Wednesday before he could have used information and insight that he had gained on Monday. And even if he had been able to answer those impossible queries, it would have been at least Friday before he could have used that information. I have a friend that works for an NCR customer that was consuming 15 days integrating data sources and running behavioral models to provide an accurate customer profile. NCR did the same job in one day. That's why I'm here. That's the type of insight and responsiveness that I want in my company. Great. I'm still not quite sure why one day makes a big difference. Tommy. In my e-retail world, customers could be long gone in a week. After all, the competition is only a click away. Let's suppose I surf two sites on the same day, then check back on both sites the next day. If one company could respond and implement changes quickly, it could have my business before the other company would even realize it had an opportunity. The better and quicker a company can respond, the better their chances of success. In addition, the NCR solution would also allow a company to increase the frequency of updates to operational systems. That is true active warehousing. That would be awesome. You know, you're exactly right, Tommy. The value of a same-day sense of information is the ability to provide relevant and frequent updates to the operational systems and the ability to capitalize 
on customer opportunities and rapidly respond to those competitive threats at your site. The features that provide the performance and scalability for Teradata and the NCR solution enable NCR to load and analyze web data and operational data fast enough to provide a same-day impact. Fast enough for a same-day impact. So we have performance and scalability, which helps then to yield that same-day sense of information. Who remembers what the third primary benefit provided by the Teradata active solutions were? Mr. McKittrick. The actual time it takes to provide the solution. That's right. NCR is a well-documented process for implementing these solutions with the ability to have them designed and implemented within 60 to 90 days. The NCR solution also has a myriad of canned e-business, e-advertising, and web traffic reports that are extremely easy to modify, plus this robust e-centric logical data model. Well, John, can you go in a little bit more detail what, what you're talking about? There? Sure. Basically what I'm saying is you can save time and money because NCR's proven methodology for planning, integrating, and implementing a functional data warehouse allows you to do it and allows them to execute within 60 to 90 days. Contrast that with one of NCR's customers decided they had a better insight into their business. They were going to create their own logical data model. Sounded like an ambitious task and they said we're going to do it ourselves. Three months later they had spent $200,000 and still didn't have a functioning logical data model. So you're looking at an opportunity cost of three months and $200,000, which is actually more expensive than the NCR solution single footprint to start with anyhow. And so they've wasted time and money and still don't have a functioning solution. NCR has al already the pieces built in. Another one of NCR's customers that actually did select that ELDM said that the reason why they chose it was because we already had 50 to 70 percent of what they were going to need already integrated in so they only had to build that small increment versus starting with zero and building all the way up. And we've already built into this functional logical data model consent-based privacy. So a lot of the initiatives that are going on in the marketplace right now we've already covered, we've already built into the solution. So while NCR's proven methodology and the logical data model help reduce the overall time to solution, the flexibility of the solution also lends a number of operational efficiencies. One of NCR's e-business customers had three database administrators that were dedicated, dedicated to reporting. Even with a dedicated staff, the dimensional model and data mart approach of the traditional OLTP vendors make working with that system so cumbersome that constructing a brand new report took them two weeks. So I've got three dedicated DBAs, and it's still taking me two weeks to create a brand new report because I'm having to go out, determine what the requirements are, map it to all the different operational systems, figure out how I'm going to extract, transform, and load all this stuff into all these multiple data marts, and figure out how I'm going to put together this report. Two weeks is too long. Two weeks is not business intelligence that works. That's dysfunctional business intelligence. Every hour, every day that you get ahead of your competition is critical. The performance and scalability, the same day sense of information, and this time to solution that NCR provides is indeed a true and sustainable competitive advantage. But every day that you wait is crucial. So your call to action is this. Your call to action is seek business intelligence that works. Avoid the stories of traditional OLTP vendors that are saying, but well, you might as well leverage the money you've already spent in chickens. Don't buy the tractor when what you need is a tractor because that's the tool that's required to do the job. Don't try to do the job with a tool that's not designed for it. If you need any more information at all, contact me directly. You see my number on the screen. You can also contact your local NCR representative. It's certainly been my pleasure to join you at the eBusiness Executive Series today. I've been asked to remind you of next week's special Executive Series lecture entitled 101 Uses for a DBA. Thanks for your attention and participation. Have a wonderful day. John, you've sold me on the value that the e-business solution provides. We need the kind of business insight that the NCR Teradata Active Warehouse provides, and we needed it yesterday. Now, where can I go find information on this solution, and who can I contact? Well, Paula, if you don't already have an NCR sales representative assigned, you can call me at 803-939-6581, and I'll find you someone. If you're just looking for general information, you can always call NCR directly at 1-800-CALL-NCR, or you can go out on the World Wide Web at www.ncr.com. Did that help? Thank you.